for your bitch until I pass out. I'ma smoke this cushion till I pass out. I'ma flex up until I pass out. I be at the bank, you know I cash out. I'ma fuck your bitch until I pass out. I be in the VIP, you know I cash out. I'ma fuck your bitch until I pass out. Ay, you know that I turned up to the max now. Ay, get up in them follies till I pass out. Ay, bear away, shorty till I pass out. Ay, baby, keep it tight until I pass out. Ay, ay, ballin', baby, feel like Jerry Stack. Warning, if you continue to watch this video, then you may turn out to become a dribble god. It is best advised that you practice these insane dribble moves in your my court while viewing the video. Enjoy, motherfucker. So 100% without a mother loving doubt, this is the best dribble tutorial on YouTube. I'm going to start with easy moves, then get into advanced ones. So you guys know how nasty I am with my dribble moves. I'm going to give you every fucking dribble combination that I do in this game that creates me mad space over like 35 or so. So spam up that like button that, that lets me know how much you guys want this shit. Yee so yeah, this shit is crazy. So the first move right here, I'm going to go in depth with every move. This is normal five rhythm dribble. The fastest rhythm dribble in the game. So you can do a bunch of combos before this or after it, mostly before. And then you tap up on the right stick towards the hoop. And yeah, then you can run to the side the ball is at. So next we have Elite Rhythm Elite One Rhythm Dribble. This shit, it's not as good as normal five, but it still gets the job done. I just use normal five because it's a lot faster and it goes behind your back every time so whenever you do a move into that people can't see it but with normal one i mean elite one it's in front of your body so people can also rep you but that's not likely so yeah and it goes from the right to the left and then round and round so this new move i'm pretty sure nobody has ever known about so i'm pretty sure people don't know you can speed boost out of snatch bags so to do this speed boost, this is called the snatchback speed boost. You want to press, you want to hold R2, and then if you dribble on camera relative, tap away from the basket, and then if it's on absolute, you tap down. So you hold R2 and tap away from the basket, and then you want to speed boost right whenever the ball, you start to lift it up after you go through your legs. And then that's a kill every time, I swear. So this next dribble combo is... A move that has to do with the rhythm dribble normal five so what you do is say for example right here I run to the left side then I tap up towards the basket holding R2 to do it in and out and then I do a rhythm dribble and then I wait for it to go behind my back and then I run to the right you see I hold R2 tap towards the basket and then I tap up without holding R2 and then I blow right by him because he's so distracted by the fact of me just sitting there doing my inside out that he's not expecting me to do a rhythm dribble and then with the normal five he can't see it go behind my back early so yeah that's a kill that's a murder and then you can do other combos with this move also so yeah i'm gonna get into that eventually so this move all of you should probably know about by now it's called the momentum crossover so say the ball is in your left hand you want to tap the right analog stick down diagonal to the right side so on a clock that would be like five o'clock or something yeah so you would want to do that and then move the left stick exactly where you move the right stick right while you're doing the right stick but you want to make sure the right stick you tap that down diagonal like maybe a tenth of a second before the left stick so i also have a video for this in the description it's the normal two hop step you see how much space that created so to do a hop step you just tap, tap square and then you know move your left stick to the side you want to go to but this is the fastest hop step in the game it's faster than the curry hop step in 2k16 so you can with the moves i've told you so far you can do the momentum cross into this and then do that or you could mix in the rhythm dribble with this or some stuff i'm gonna show you guys that you see how much space this creates though it's hella nasty so since you now know how to do the best hop step in the game to do the through the legs hop step what you want to do is say you're on the right side of the ball in your right hand you tap down no you tap diagonally down to the left 
to put it through your legs. You see right there? And then you just hop step right while that happens. You see that? You see how much space that creates? And then after you do the hop step part, you can do a momentum cross or a rhythm dribble or some other move. You see, I'm telling you guys these moves so you can create your own combos like me. So now, since you excel at doing hop steps and momentum dribbles, now you can do the momentum hop step. So what you want to do is you do the momentum crossover, which is right stick down, I mean right stick diagonal down to the right, and then left stick diagonal down to the right, if the ball's in your left hand. And then right after you do the momentum cross, you just do a hop step. That shit's hella nasty. You see how much space this creates. Hold on. You see that? Busted him right into that screen. He was standing still. Watch right here. You see that? That creates mad space. It gives you that animation where it like slides you back. That's a GG. That's a green light every time. If you want my jump shot, there's a link to that video in the description too. Okay, so this is the last move that has to do with the hop step. So you need basic size up normal 2 for this. That's the crossover 16 animation. So what you want to do is you hold R2. Say the ball's in your right hand. You just hold R2 and tap the right stick to the left. That does crossover 16. After you do that, you can do a momentum crossover and then do a hop step. That shit creates a ton of space. You see, I just lost him in the sauce right there. You see that? So this is the momentum rhythm dribble. So you know if you do that slow momentum crossover animation, you can break ankles. So that's just like tapping it to the left, not diagonal down. Diagonally down, you just want to tap it to the side. And then you see you can break his ankles right there. And then you tap up towards the basket, no R2, to do the rhythm dribble. And then you see right here, after you break his ankles with the momentum cross, you just simply do the rhythm dribble and then run to the side for a midi or a dunk. And then you're wide open. You see, I simply get him right there and then I just take it in. There's no way he's stopping that. So if you could figure out how to do this move perfectly with these dribble combos so far, you can be the most unguardable person just like me in this game. This is the Chris Paul crossover size up combo. It's the third thing from the bottom. Once you master this move, and say for example you could do that elite 3 thingy, or the rhythm dribble off of this perfectly, you become so nasty. So right here, I'm running to the left. The ball is in my left hand. You flick to your off ball hand without holding R2, and then you can flick to the left with holding R2. That's how you do it. It's simple. You see that right there. And then to you can do combos off of that, like rhythm dribbles or momentum crossovers or hop steps. That shit creates mad space for you. Like I'm not even lying. You even see I just got a green like just Chris Paul. So this right here is just simple ways to do the CP3 crossover combo with the normal five rhythm dribble. You want to make sure you have normal five on with this. You see how I just lost him there, and then I simply tapped up towards the basket. And then he's gonzo. Right here, you see, he, he isn't expecting me to just... You you see, when you're doing the Chris Paul move, people are just so lost right there. You see right there, look at that. They're so focused on that, they don't expect you to just burst out of it like crazy. You even see how far he's sagging off of me. So you just want to simply do the Chris Paul move, and then tap towards the basket, do your rhythm dribble, and then blow right by him. That shit's hella easy. No one expects it. You see that right there, just simply right by him. You, It's not hard to dribble in this game. It's a bunch of simple ass combos that people just don't expect. You see, I kill him. So here's another quick combo th of stuff that I've taught you guys so far. Make sure you watch this entire video to learn to dribble like a god. So you do that Chris Paul move, and then you simply attempt to do a momentum crossover after it. You just see how simple that is? You just do the Chris Paul and then the momentum crossover. And then you create a lot of space for yourself there. You can take it in for a donk or a midi. That shit's just plain and simple. All these moves are simple. You feel me? So here's a little more advanced shit. So for this right here, you want to put on basic size up. Normal 2, which is the crossover 16 animation. And then that Chris Paul crossover size up, whatever move it is. So all you do is you... Do crossover 16 to the side, and then you do the Chris Paul move. You see how that loses him right there, and then you'll just be completely wide open. 
if you need to know the best dribble moves in this game, just go watch my best dribble moves video. That link's in the description. So the best moves in the game are that Chris Paul move with the Elite 3 basic size up. So you see, when you do that basic size up move, you just hold R2, tap to your off ball hand. How much space that creates. This like moves you backwards. People don't expect it. You see how he just moves backwards there, and then I get a wide open three point. So the main benefit of having that elite three basic size up on, whenever you do the move, whenever say the ball is in your left hand, after you do like a hezzy or the Chris Paul move, and then the ball ends up in your left hand, then simply do the elite three move right after you do the Chris Paul every time, or like a behind the back like that. So you were to do the Chris Paul into the elite three. It gives you that little glitch animation that it gives you it like it teleports you and then it gives you a ton of space and then you can do any move off of that and then that's a gg people can't guard that you feel me this is probably the most creative and weird dribble move in the game behind the back elite six so to do this all you simply have to do is it gives you a crazy boost you do a momentum crossover to the side and then you tap the behind the back away from the hoop and then you have to turbo out of that and then it like teleports you past the guy to the side so most of the time it gives you a wide open midi but if you can do a momentum again to the hoop then that gives you a wide open dunk so yeah shout out to my man q i didn't get any gameplay of me doing this so i had to ask to do this cheesy behind the back move with the ball is in your right hand you just tap the right stick away from the basket and then move the left stick to the left which is the side you want to go to you see right there that's a kill and then yeah that's just simple and then after you learn how to do that, you can do a hesitation off of it, which people really don't expect because they don't expect the first move in general. So you see me do the behind the back right there and then catch him with the hezzy and then green light. All these moves I do, they aren't hard at all. I just practice. I barely play this game too. Dude. It's just that I'm that nasty. So right here, you see me do a behind the back into the hezzy and then that's what like wow. This is the normal five hesitation. So you know how you do the normal five and then it goes to your off ball hand right away. So right whenever you do the normal five rhythm dribble by tapping up towards the hoop, whenever the ball gets away from you, you want to do the hop step. You see that right there? How much space that creates? This move kills tons of people. That's because people don't really see this and they've never seen anyone do it. So they don't know how to guard it. This is just another simple move with the stuff I taught you. So you do the elite three move and then you momentum cross towards the basket for a dunk or a midi because the elite three moves you backwards and the momentum cross can move you forward so that shit's a murder this is also a simple move it's just an elite three into the rhythm dribble normal five so yeah you just do it then you wait for the person to bite on you you see right there he he comes up really close to me and then i just rhythm dribble right past him now this is the most important move in the game all you need in 2k17 to be a god is this move i'm being dead serious right now you need that chris paul move with the elite three elite three basic size up chris paul crossover combo whatever so you do the chris paul by tapping to the left say the ball's in your right hand you tap to the left and then you tap to the right while holding r2 and then you do the elite three by holding r2 and then you just go to the off ball hand all in one motion that shit creates a ton of space and it does that glitchy elite three move right here this is how to do hezzies so for example you could just put the ball through your legs you guys already know that just r2 through your legs diagonal down and then you just tap r2 to your ball hand see right there through my legs tap r2 to my ball hand while i'm wide open and then here's how to mix it in with that elite three move you tap it towards your ball hand and then it does that glitch move and then you can maybe mix in a rhythm dribble you'll be wide open every time so right here all i'm gonna do is my hezzy to this side and then elite three green light how hard am i to guard now if you try to put everything i taught you together with the hezzy you see all that right by him People fall for that every time. You see right here, through my legs, has he rhythm dribble. He he was standing far away from that screen and he flew right into it. Like all of these moves, if you know how to put them together, like string them together like crazy, you will be able to win every single party. Then this is what the Hezzy looks like with the basic size up normal two on, which is the crossover 16 one. 
so it looks a little different you can do a momentum crosser crossover after that that's what i find to get me the most space with this hazzy if you've made it to this part of the video comment hank is my daddy so for this you need kobe between the leg size up combo and to do this say the ball is in your left hand you tap bottom right through the legs and then behind your back so down so diagonal down to the right and then down without holding r2 and then right whenever it goes behind your back you want to turbo out of that shit so it gives you the fastest speed boost in the game i swear to god this is faster than that normal five move all you have to do is diagonal down to the right and then down in a motion and then you speed boost or tur hold turbo and then you sprint right out of it this is just a simple casual jamal crawford layup so you put that on and then when you drive to the basket with the person in front of you all you have to do is tap square and then try to do it like you're doing a hop step and then it does it for you and then the next best thing is a spin layup i my spin is uh the spin doesn't matter but the spin jumper you want to have on normal and then yeah so all you have to do is double tap square when you're running to the basket and then it does a spin for you you can pass out of it or you could go up with it it's hella nasty i'm pretty sure this is the behind the back size up combo so you just put on jamal crawford and then you hold you don't hold anything you just tap down twice away from the basket and then yeah you can do a bunch of different combos off of this shit it's not hard at all like you see me do the momentum right there pull up jump shot suddenly you know that jump shot is what is fuck and then yeah people don't really expect you to do this it's just simple stuff so yeah so this right here is just a momentum snatch back all you have to do is the momentum crossover which i said earlier in the video you just tap diagonal down to your off ball hand with the right stick and then the left stick right maybe like a tenth of a second after and then you snatch back so you just like hold the right stick down with r2 you want to make sure you hold r2 if you don't you're going to shoot it so you just do the momentum crossover and then you hold r2 and then you tap down on the right stick or hold down so this is a through the leg speed boost all you have to do is put the ball through your legs with the right stick so diagonal down and then you wait till your guy sets his feet and then you run off of it so this move is really fun to troll with so you need that normal two hop jumper so right whenever you finish the move and it's at your ball hand all you want to do is tap square and then move it to your ball hand so it's like a hop step but you're doing it to your ball hand side so it looks like it kind of looks like you're teleporting you see right there like you just walk on your feet after you do the move i don't think anyone knows how to do it like me so this is a pretty simple move it's just a regular spin jumper spin jumper normal so you just want to run to a side this is incredible for shot creators and slashers then you double tap square and then you can follow through with it and then boing, boing. this shit's so weird all you have to do is sprint forward and then tap up on the right stick while you're moving forward and then burst right out of it after you do that this i don't know what happens and then right here this shit is so nasty so you want to do the elite three move and then literally right whenever you hold r2 and flick to your off ball hand then you want to press square the opposite way to do a hop step so it should sound like fucking aids it's so fast so i hope that all of you at least learned a new dribble move today that can help you kill boys for fun and yeah so if you made it to this part of the video comment hank is the dribble god and yeah make sure to smash that like button because i made this long ass video to help all of you dribble and defeat your enemies so yeah I'm gone now. Subscribe if you're new and yeah.